Kamala has has pretty much stated many times, you know, subtly that she favors legalization. Even Trump favors legalization. So they have bipartisan support for the legalization of this stuff, right? So that is uh, something that is um, is happening, and it's 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 not going to stop, and it's going to keep on going. So the legalization is a bipartisan issue. They're going to drag the can down the road slowly, but that's not such a bad thing. That's a good thing because that gives you time to stack your uh, cabbage so you can invest in the broccoli. The cabbage is in your pocket. The broccoli is what they smoke in. Okay, so we, we got to get our terminology right. So uh, so the other thing, too, is um, as they change the scheduling, you've also got a banking issue. Uh, right now, people that are in the broccoli industry can't really put their money in regular banks. They can't get regular banking services and because the banks operate based on a lot of these federal laws that are like many other areas that like in crypto are just very ambiguous. Nobody knows exactly what they're allowed to do and not allowed to do. So they sometimes they just do nothing. So basically the banks aren't involved. And as the banking stuff gets cleared up, that's going to clear up more space for the industry to kind of breathe and operate and do what it's got to do. Okay. All right. So, uh, so that's another good development. That's another good thing that's kind of moving. And another thing that people haven't talked a lot about in terms of the broccoli, in case you just came in, when I say broccoli, I'm really talking about, you know, that I just can't say that word because they got AI now and they can hear what you say. So we're we not talking about that. We, if I go like that, y'all know what I'm doing, right? It's a, we've smoking that broccoli, but I'm not smoking it. I'm just telling you how to invest in it. Uh, but anyway, so the last little piece is that there are actually these drinks that uh, are infused with THC. And these drinks are kind of skirting around the law. They're able to operate in the banks. They're able to do legitimate business. And that's a growing industry because what they found is that young people are drinking less alcohol. They're not drinking liquor like they used to, which I think is a good thing because liquor is dangerous. It's bad for your body. It's bad for your life. I, I taught on the faculty at Syracuse University. I was a finance professor there. And it, made, it broke my heart to see how many young people were introduced to alcohol in a very sloppy way and ruined their lives. I'm talking about uh, assaults, uh, sexual sometimes. I'm talking about people making bad, bad choices. And I just wish we as a society took that more seriously. Um, you know, like I'm the weirdo who's at the party that doesn't drink. And then when somebody says, well, why don't you drink? My response is like, well, why should I drink? And why are you even asking me that? Why don't you ask me? You should be asking people like, why don't you read more books? Or why don't you exercise? <laughs> You're fat. How about I ask you, why don't you act? Why don't you go to the gym? Why do, why do you eat so much, so much stuff that's going to kill you? How about that? How about if I become the asshole in the room? You know, so anyway, with that being said, um, you know, the, the liquor is being replaced by these cannabis or these, I said it, dang broccoli infused drinks but it's actually hemp that they're using hemp is the male and the other stuff is the female or something and so anyway i don't even know a lot about the industry in, except for the fact that it's going to make money so these drinks are big too so what here's what i'm going to give you guys real quick uh do me a favor first uh, i'm going to give you a couple stocks that i like right now that i think you may want to take a look at um and uh and the second the other thing i'd like for you to do first is if you could first of all let me know you can still hear me somebody said they can't hear give me a quick yes you can hear me if you can hear me uh thank you rudy dolomite i see your comment he said your reels have been controversial i love it yeah i i just tell the truth i, I don't care i'm not trying to make friends i'm trying to tell the truth and that's just what that's what it is uh, so let me know if you can hear me okay. Uh, also hit the thumbs up button, thumbs up, share, subscribe. And uh, just a reminder, every single morning we do financial class, a uh, finance class for free. If you, So finances make you nervous. You want to understand how money works. You want to go get some. Uh, I have a PhD in this stuff. I literally studied money for 30 years. I know how it works. I know a lot about it.